Got your back against the wall, no, you know you never had a chance. Should've known better, now you better make other players. There's no going back, gotta let you know in advance. This is Game Squad. It's the TNT How's it going, YouTube? This is Joe Grizz from the Team Avalanche Worldwide YouTube channel. And I'm here with Tyler, Tyler Prinzer, right? Tyler Prinzer, he got fourth place at the Brooklyn Regional today with uh, Extra Deck Monarchs. Why do you like this deck, bro? I like this deck because I think it has the best Cosmo matchup, which is pretty good. And the mirror match isn't too terrible. Um, I also felt, you know, it was strong against BA and other decks. and. It, it had a good matchup against, like, I felt it didn't need to lose when it wasn't supposed to. Like, kind of like similar to Dragon Rollers, where, like, nothing was beating them except Spellbooks and stuff. I feel like Monarchs aren't losing unless they're losing the Cosmos and uh, the Mirror Magic. So if you want me to get into the deck profile, it's pretty standard. I played three, the Heaven Monarch and this guy. And this guy, <laughs> the standard. Um, this guy was really good. I really like him. That three, definitely. Um, three max C. I did choose to go second. Um, game ones, I was picking to go second. And I played three of these and two of these. Um, I played three because I did play Brilliant Fusion. So I have Mithra. I like Mithra at one. Um, after you go off and you use this effect to bring this out, you can summon a Mithra. It gives you an extra tribute summon so you can go for game if you've uh, gone off the previous turn. Uh, the Garnet is for the uh, Brilliant Fusion. What, I like, I like what, one. what are your thoughts on uh, playing the, the, the layers? I know a lot of people are, are yeah, playing. So I didn't play the the, uh, the, layers, the, layers, yeah. the Rangers. Um, I did. I felt they were really unnecessary, and their abilities were unnecessary. Like what they what they were able to do wasn't appealing enough for me to want to play them. So I took them out because they created brick hands, which I was trying to avoid. But I did play Brilliant Fusion, which helped me brick a lot more, especially with the one Garnet. I did draw one Garnet and Brilliant Fusion a lot today, but I, I sided this out sometimes. It was very good, though. Would you still play only one Garnet and three Brilliant Fusion? Yeah, I would, because the reason I played only one is because um, Monarchs need five cards in their hand that, like, and, like, each one has to have a uh, specific, like, utility. So if I draw... If I'm playing two Garnets and I'm drawing a Garnet every like other game, like sure I can, my Brilliant Fusion is still alive, but my hand is it's probably gonna suck. So I only play one for that reason. Do you ever recover from a Garnet Brilliant Fusion in hand, or just playing Garnet? Sometimes, yeah. If you have uh, Pantheism and a Tribute Summon Monster, you know that's really it's really strong. Right. And you can always pop this with Kiras to draw. This card is really good um, all day long, you're just plus one for free, so like that's nice. This card, uh, I played three of most of the spells, the standards. I chose three on return, I know some people might cut that to two, I like it at three. I want to open it. Nah, three is broken. Yeah. Especially for, uh, for I played one domain to cost down sometimes. Um, I chose to go second, so like if I wanted to cost down and um, you know, just tribute ones to like power through my opponent's board, it helped. It was alright, it, it, I sided it out a lot though, it definitely got sided out. Three Twin Twisters, because like I said, I do choose to go second, and I only played two Prime, I didn't play a third one. Like I said, when I draw my first you know, cards, I want them to be playable. So this card is more of a card I want to search for. And if I open it with Pantheism, great, but if I open this card and I don't, like, it's just there. It doesn't have a good effect really, unless it's in my grade. So I only like two for that reason. It didn't, I didn't ever run out of resources, so to speak. Like, people like three because of the resources, but uh, I didn't, I didn't get into late games that often. I played this, obviously you need to play that. This card was really amazing all day, actually. Um, I'll tell you later how I like use this card and this card to just like win all the mirror matches, really. Yeah, that, 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 that's ridiculous how good that is. This card, this card never came up. This card, I really like this card against Rogue and like Cosmos, and even the mirror match. When you have two guys, they expect a tribute summon, and you just make this. 
and then they can't tag out because like if you got a dead brilliant fusion, you know you change the effect to kill the brilliant fusion. So this card was good for that reason. It also helps you game in the mirror match because they can't trap and just kill it. This card came up once. This card came up once. This never came up. This never came up. This never came up. This it's an option. It could have came up. This option could have came up. These I sided Cyber Dragons. So for the mirror, yeah. So for the mirror match, I um, I sided in three mask of restricts. Whether going first or second, I really like this because um, I actually didn't play a extra deck monarch today. I, I played domain monarchs all throughout the day. So if I had two primes in grave, I would play this, and they would like fit. They had no outs, so I would just make a rank five each turn. Like Volcasaurus was usually the option, and uh, I burned them for damage and. Gaia to attack for more damage. They can't really play when this card's face up and I can play. Did it ever backfire in your face? You know what? It, That's a good question. It, yeah. it really. Question. I don't think so because my opponent sided out there. They're like responses to it because they weren't expecting it. I don't know why. I thought it was more relevant. But um, I mean, I drew, you are playing monarchs. I don't yeah, think they would expect it. I know. I drew this in a. Uh, uh, the mirror match, but I had a really shitty hand. It was really bad five cards, but it was this was one of them, and I just said it and won because my opponent couldn't play, and I couldn't play either. But I was drawing resources, and I could uh, extra deck, use the extra deck. So it didn't, it, it never backfired because I do have the option of going the extra deck. I also do have three twin twisters. One time I, I drew another one. Twin Twister killed it, Tribute Summon, set one more, and passed, and then flipped another one, and he was pretty pissed off after that. <laughs> I also like this card in the mirror match, because, and this came up with these two, I opened these, and my opponent Twin Twistered me, and they had a bad day. Ridiculous. Three Veilers, um, I, it, maybe for the mirror it could come up, I don't know, but I, I, these cards were, were good enough. Regeki is pretty good in the mirror. Uh, Cyber Dragons for um, Cosmos. I didn't really like it because, um, yeah, it, it could be something different. Like maybe Lancia. And two Majesty Screens. Um, this card didn't really do anything, but you know, it has its utilities. Obviously. You ever sided in? Yeah, I sided in. I lost because I like went for it. It was my one loss. I like went for the Majesty Fiend play and he had the out to it, so I lost. So, I sp explain what you were saying about the Volcasaurus and the Guy Charger. Yeah, so um, a lot of the times I would have this in a full grave. I would just make sure my grave was just full of stuff so I could keep summoning these two. Yeah. And like I would, um, my opponent a lot of the time, what they were doing, they had more domains. This happened. This was one of the scenarios. He domained and then cost down and then domained over his domain to cost down again to normal summon a 28 Erebus. So when he normal summoned the 28 Erebus, I just made this and he took 28 and then I attacked over, you know, he had a little guy, so I attacked over it, did some more damage. This guy, you know, these guys, they dealt pretty hefty damage today. It was I won most of my mirror matches with I thought that this does board. Half the attack. No, no it, 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 it's a ring of destruction. It, it, it burns for all the damage and then it can't attack that turn yeah, over the guy cards it and, can attack, and, right. and follow up with the rest of the damage. Yeah, so this board came up often in the mirror match and they really couldn't out it unless they were playing extra deck. I didn't come across that thing. So the domain you just spanked them. Yeah. <laughs> spanked them. Uh, yeah, the, the, the domain. The domain monarchs, they, they should play a uh, extra deck card. They can't, they can't out this. this card. My opponent flipped this on me, and I uh, I, I just Volcasaurus him. He, he, had, he had this and Thistalos, and I had, I was like, okay, Volcasaurus and Thistalos, and that was game, actually, right there. So this card, like, when you play extra decks, this is the card that, like, you have outs to. That's the card. the card you want to have out too, because this is the card that like spanks the shit out of you. <laughs> Would you say this deck bricks uh, less than normal domain monarchs? Um, I choose to go second because I want a six card to make my hand like not um, as shitty. Mm -hmm. 
but when um when it comes down to it, they're both kind of even as far as inconsistencies go. Maybe taking out the Rangers helps, but I don't know. I don't. I never really liked them. I thought they were very cloggy. But yeah, that was the deck I really liked. It ran very smoothly. I never missed anything. I never wished I wanted anything. So you was all around. It was a good day for you. Yeah, I really like this. How how the deck ran. You played for Gala? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably change up a few things though. We'll see. <laughs> After today. Well, congrats, bro. Thanks, man. Good shit. Make good job. Shout outs. Yeah, make your shout outs. Shout outs to my car, who I came with. At least the actual car. Hey. Yeah, my homies. Um, <laughs> and Zombie Plan at my local and everyone over there. Thank you for letting me do this type of fun. All right, guys, Yugi Bro here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching here and partnering up with the new team Avalanche. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> good shit. Do a good sign out later, guys. Thank you. Please stay connected with me by adding me on all my social networks on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Just copy the link into your search bar and add. Thank you.